Good afternoon and welcome into the three show everyone. I'm Vinny Paraselli. The regular season ends this weekend. We've got plenty of things still on the line. We've got to honor our top players from the month of February and we've got commitments and advancement news to get to as well. A full show on deck for you today. Let's start with the latest NCAA commit. Caleb Cross of the Butte Cobras has committed to Finlandia University. The netminder is 19 and 11 this season sporting a 297 goals against average and a 935 save percentage to go with two shutouts. He was selected to the NA3HL Top Prospects Tournament last month and earned a call-up to the NAHL with the Kenai River Brown Bears. Then we've got another goaltender, Adam Prokop of the Milwaukee Power, signing a tender with the Austin Bruins. Prokop is 24-3 this season with a 228 goals against and a 934 save percentage. He also has three shutouts. Like Cross, he was selected to the Top Prospects Tournament and was just called up to the Austin Bruins where he appeared in his first NHL game. Time to honor the top players from February is Luke Schlusner is the forward of the month. The Butte Cobra knocked 8 goals and 25 points in just 8 February games. Schusner had 7 multi-point games and 4 games with 4 points or more. Dennis Radchenko, the Danbury Junior Hattricks, is your defenseman of the month. The Blue Liner had 4 goals and 17 points in 10 games. He had 4 games where he had 3 points or more in February. Finally, Keaton French is the goaltender of the month. The Helena Netminder went 5-1 last month giving up just four goals in that time. He ended with a goals against average of .67 and a save percentage of 973. He also had three shutouts in the month. Now let's get back to the excitement coming up this weekend. Let's start in the central. Oregon and Rochester are tied with 67 points each. If both teams sweep or get swept and are still tied, they will finish with the same amount of points and the same amount of wins, which is the first tiebreaker. We go down the line of tiebreakers and if they finish with the same amount of points and wins, then the Tradesmen will win the tiebreaker based on the head-to-head -head goal differential tiebreaker and win the regular season title. So that's what's to watch for there. If Rochester wins two and Oregon wins one, obviously Rochester wins it all, but if they end up tied with the same amount of points and the same amount of wins, it will be the Tradesmen being the number one seed in the Central. In the East Division, the Titans and Sharks each have 41 points, but right now the Titans have one more win, giving them the advantage. Titans will play against the Sea Captains while the Sharks host the Bobcats. New Jersey controls their own destiny and two wins this weekend will put them in to the Fraser Cup playoffs. Long Beach will need some points and some help if they want to advance to the postseason. To find the last playoff team in the Frontier Division, this is fairly simple. The Butte Cobras need just one win in order to punch their ticket, but they'll be up against the division leader in Helena. And the Big Horns have a lot to play for as well as they're just one point ahead of Gillette for first place with two games to play. Bozeman, the team that is three points behind Butte, needs to win both of their games this weekend, but they play Gillette, who needs wins to pass Helena. A ton to be on the lookout for this weekend in the Frontier. It's going to be a mess, and we're going to cover it all on NA3HL.com. In the South, all the playoff teams are accounted for, and now we just have to figure out who is the one seed. The Texas Roadrunners are in control as they need to win two of their last three games against El Paso this weekend in order to jump the Brahmas and win the South Division. Finally, in the West, the Wilmer Warhawks need just one win to punch their ticket to the playoffs. They host the Loons on Friday, and if they don't win that, they've got a showdown with the New Ulm Steel, who they are tied with at 36 points. Then if they still haven't gotten the job done, they will host Minnesota again on Sunday. The reason Wilmer needs just one win is because even if them and the Steel finish tied in points, the Warhawks will have more wins, which will put them in to the postseason. Finally, before we get out of here, an NA3HL alum is getting his shot at the NCAA Division I level. Former North Iowa Bull Brendan Studioso has been called up to the Arizona State NCAA team after spending the last three years with the ASU ACHA team. Studioso played three seasons in the 3HL with North Iowa, potting 59 goals and 143 points in 125 games. Congrats to Studi on this opportunity. There are 33 games left in the regular season. You can watch them all on NHL TV. Follow the league on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube for the latest content. Log on to NA3HL.com for up to the second scores and standings to keep up to date on all the playoff races. The chase for the postseason concludes in just over 48 hours, and we'll be here to get you ready for the Fraser Cup playoffs next week. Until next time, I'm Vinny Paraselli.